it's it's very 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 smart uh, you know I, I, get, I get lots of people painting things and, and, and trying to reproduce this is a little bit special there took a lot of thought and what they've done is a little bit special yeah why do you reckon football catches people's imagination oh, it's a beautiful game uh, tell me about that well I think that the thing about this is what they're doing is taking it back 20 25 years which is going back to the Beatles which is the big thing as well and going back to the, like the 60s and 70s that's what it is and it's, it's, it's a hell of a compliment to think that uh, this is from 20 25 years ago and that you've seen the people I mean it does a big compliment to me that, that they come in and ask for autographs with the kids I've, I mean kids coming up like six seven asking me for an autograph is a hell of a compliment do you think young kids today, uh, uh, football today, can possibly compete with your legend? I think, well, the thing I, I, I look at is that my son tries to compete with me, and, and my brother did as well, and I hate comparisons, because you can't do it. You know, we had our era in the 60s and, and the 70s, two eras, and uh, they, they talk about comparisons, and I hate that because you can't compare and my son's under the microscope you know because they said are you going to be as good as your dad or is you know and uh, I, I hate that I, I just think that when they look at something like that they remember the way it was and it was it was special it how really about, was how about players like Ryan Giggs and stuff like that and a good players coming from England or, or is England being swamped by European players I think uh, not England but British football at the moment are so far behind European, uh, I mean, they're getting slaughtered at the moment. They can't win anything, uh, which is a shame because in the 60s we were the best in the world. You know, we won the uh, we won the European Cup twice, the World Cup. Excuse me, it's my message yet. See, it's always trying to get in there. Excuse me. Get your bum out of the way. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, it hasn't been the same since, and they, they keep trying to do it, and it, it's not, we were the best in the world in the 60s and 70s, no we're not, and we're so far behind other teams, you know, when you look at uh, Scandinavian teams beating the best of British, and we used to go there, and it was, it was a warm-up, you know, we used to go there and play them in pre-season or end of season, to, just for a warm up, and now, now they're beating us. Now, so we got to look at something. It's, it's pretty serious. So, uh, uh, we've got the right manager for England at the moment. <laughs> Terry's a friend of mine. Uh, but at the moment, with the scandal stuff, whether it's right or wrong, I don't, I don't want to get involved in that lot. But uh, you got to be cleaner than clean. And at the moment, he's not. And as I say, whether he's right or wrong, somebody's got to make their mind up. And somebody's got to stand up and say, this is the way it is. And, and there are the rules, there are the, what's going on. And nobody's doing it. You know, they're all ducking and diving. And nobody's telling the truth at the moment for me. Yeah, so. And is there anything that, do you look back at your career that you may have changed? I love what I did. Uh, I got paid lots of money for doing something I loved. I played with some great, some of the greatest players in the world, and against the greatest players in the world. I wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, and they talk about players today earning fortunes, which they do. You know, there's some players are getting 15, 20 grand a week, and they can't play. But I, I, I wouldn't change it. I was around at the, the nice era with some lovely people, great football, and today it's, it's not the same.